Hello everyone and welcome to Day Trader S&P 500. Today is November 30th, 2020. This is Dale Woodson, editor of Woodson Wave Report, one of Timer Digest's top-ranked stock market timers. And uh, while I've been uh, trading for 30 plus years, relatively new to the YouTube channel, so we appreciate if you guys can hit that subscribe button, the reminder bell, and of course hit that like button. I appreciate you guys patronizing our channel. And uh, while we've been, uh, I've been trading for 30 plus years, recently started our short term service, which has daily trades and reports. You can see our track record there with 700 plus trades a year. We've had so much interest lately that um, we've um, moved our futures trades to Striker. They will auto trade with some wave report signals. You can open an account with them and be auto traded and not have to worry about making 700 trades a year sitting in front of your computer. We're looking forward to our new website that's opening up soon. But um, we're doing a report today because some exciting things happened in the market. And we want to touch base with you guys real quickly here. You can look at our um, S&P daily uh, count here. Here you can see we have wave one up, two down, three up, four down. And our primary count looks for five waves up to just under 4,000. However, we alerted our um, subscribers and our customers and YouTube people that we we may put in a truncated fifth ending diagonal triangle, okay? So what we have here, let me draw that out for everyone. Okay, here is the most recent fourth wave low on November 10. We had a one up here, a two down here, a three up, a four down, and a five up and in this case it's called an ending diagonal because as you can see wave four overlaps one this is one of the, not one of it as far as I know this is the only time wave four can go below the wave one high when you have an ending diagonal triangle and let me wipe that out here real quick because I want to show you something else here real, real quick again within the fractals here are, are, um, are pretty cool because each one of these five waves has five waves. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five in wave one. And we can get over here and look at there's one, there's two, there's three, there's four. And believe it or not, I looked at that, that is higher. There's five there. And we can get over to the fifth wave. And that one's a little more easy. You've got a, a one here, a two here, a three here, a four here, and a five here. So this high did not go above the previous high over here, which was November 9th. That's a five on a different degree. That's really a three. Okay, then we had a four down here, and this is five. One, two, three, four, five. So there's a good chance that the S&P put in an ending diagonal triangle and a truncated fifth, meaning this fifth wave did not go above the previous third wave high. It came within less than two points. So we'll have to watch this. The first key will be a break of this wave one high here. Let me move that to get that exact price for you guys. And that is 3589.81. We break below that and there's a good chance that that is a truncated fifth. Of course we'll get another confirmation when we get below this previous fourth wave low over here which is 35.11. Okay, so that's what we're looking for. Otherwise, we're looking for this a move up to under uh, 4,000. So this week, the next few days uh, should play out and we'll know. Uh, gold, we talked about that make or break level with the wave one and wave four. Look at that, the wave one high. If you can follow that dotted line and we went right there, but we did not break it. So four is still on. I would still say a close below that would be would say that that fourth wave is wrong and the new trend is down. Let's see if we still have that on our, um, here we are here. Um, yeah, that throw under right there, there's that fourth wave in the schematic there. So gold is still on. But the most exciting thing of the day is Tesla. As you recall yesterday, we, looked, we had two different targets. One of them was 607. And look at that, the high, 607.80 for wave five today on November 30th and this thing is moving similar to the S&P we're expecting a high on November 30th but we got it in Tesla 
We have a completed five wave pattern. I've cleaned this up a little bit. You can see the 382 retracement gives us a target of 395. 50% retracement gives us 329. The 618 gives us a target of 263. So uh, the more exciting thing about Tesla is look at that red bar. Let me get a little closer for you guys. You can see this, okay? What we have here is a key reversal day. We made a new all-time high and we closed below the previous day's low. That's a key reversal day. That's a huge bearish indicator. And I got a little uh, guideline here, if you will, for you guys to uh, to trade a key reversal day. Okay. For those of you who want to trade, day one after key reversal day, that's tomorrow, Tuesday. Sell the higher open. First condition, it must make a new low. Second condition, it must close lower than yesterday. If not, exit the trade. Next if the market closes lower, go to day two. Okay, day two would be Wednesday. You might already be out of the trade. We'll see what happens tomorrow. Market cannot exceed the high of the previous day. Place a stop above the day one high. That's over there. Market does not have to close lower. Okay, like it does on that day. If it does, then we go to day three. Market must close lower than day two and make a lower low than day two. Lower your stop to above the day too high. If that condition is met, go to day four. Day four, if the day three low is taken out, exit the trade, take your profits. You guys want to trade longer term or get in and out, you can do that. But that's a good uh, trading strategy for key reversal day. And Tesla made a key reversal day. Okay, we'll look and see what we'll look to see what uh, the S&P does here if it does this. Or if it does the uh, the ending diagonal and it starts going down, we have to really watch these waves here as they unfold. You can see it looks like we already have a one, two, three, four going on here. So uh, we'll see if that continues. Take out that high right there. Take out that low, and our high is in. And then we can look at a decline to these levels. Quick update because important things happened. Thanks again for patronizing our channel. Have a good one. Until next time, take care, everyone.